photo by Michelle Eve Sandberg Rashad Jones thinks it's time to move on. He thinks everyone should just forget he refused to re-enter his team's crucial 13-6 win last Sunday against the New York Jets. The Dolphins' safety wants everyone to know he and the coaches are on the same page now, so don't worry about what happened. It's fine now. Oh, and he doesn't regret quitting on his teammates at all. Sorry, not sorry. It's actually not fine, Rashad. Fans of the Dolphins, who play the Green Bay Packers this Sunday at 4.25 p.m. In ice-cold Wisconsin, are owed a far more detailed explanation of why in the world arguably the best player on their favorite team decided he just wasn't fit into playing more than 10 snaps against the franchise's biggest rival in a season's winging game the team absolutely could not afford to lose. Imagine this scenario, the Dolphins aren't playing the New York Jets and the opposing quarterback isn't a putrid, four-interception-throwing rookie named Sam Darnold. The Dolphins, who only gained 43 yards on offense in the second half of Sunday's game, don't win simply because their opponent is that bad. Imagine the Dolphins lose, fall to 4-5, to five, losers of five of their last six games, then how does Rashad Jones refusing to re-enter the game after 10 plays look? How much attention is given to Jones quitting on his team in midseason when they needed him most? The answer is a lot more. A whole lot more scrutiny is given to this situation, and Adam Gase is likely not taking it as easy on Jones as he has. A crappy win against a terrible New York Jets team doesn't change the fact that Rashad Jones quit on his squad last Sunday. And his unwillingness to explain what happened doesn't make it go away. Running out of the locker room before the media could question him about why he quit was cowardly, and won't be forgotten. If Jones indeed was angry and decided to not play Sunday, okay. He should apologize to everyone and move on. It'll be a stain on his reputation and record, but at least he will have handled it like a man. Being standoffish with the media five days later and acting as if nothing happened will not improve his reputation. Jason Taylor never quit. Zach Thomas never quit. Tim Bowens never quit. Cam Wake sure as hell has never quit. Rashad Jones quit on the Miami Dolphins and their fans on Sunday. If he didn't, he should explain what happened. Otherwise, a 13-6 win against a bad Jets team in November 2018 will be remembered, and for all the wrong reasons.